Hi, I'm Philip Dunn, an Applications Instructor for New Horizons. I'm here to share a tip with you for working efficiently in Outlook. Today we are going over a nice little trick in Outlook that will give you a one minute delay before sending your messages. Uh, that is a really nice way to avoid sending a message too soon. Uh, maybe if you forgot something or you sent an emotional email that you immediately regretted, you can stop it before it goes out. A lot of people ask about recalling a message, which is a, a really great tool too, but it's a little bit clunky and it does not work if they already read the messages. Normally you have to go into sent items, open up an email, go to actions, go to recall, and then pick one of these options, hoping that they do not read the email before. Uh, that's a little bit too much and it's kind of unreliable. So we're gonna make use of the Outlook rules. I'm gonna go up here to rules. And the trick here is normally you could go here to create rule, but that only works for incoming emails. So the trick for this is you have to go down to manage rules and alerts. And then when you click on new rule, you go down to the bottom where it says, apply the rule on messages I send. It's the only way to get to this particular setting. So I'll click next. And then it says, which conditions do you want to check? And I want none of these checked. I want all my messages. So when I click next, Alec is going to warn me of that. It says this rule will be applied to every message you send. And that is correct. I want to click yes. What do you want to do with the message? You pick the last option. I'm going to check this. Defer delivery by a number of minutes. Okay, that's the trick that we're doing here. And then at the bottom, you have to make sure you choose how long. So I'm going to click on the little blue link that says number of minutes. And for this trick, this demo today, we're going to just do one minute. That's usually enough for me. Um, it's not too long. Your emails will send out pretty quickly. But if you do realize that maybe your message uh, missed something, you can pick it up pretty quickly. Um, if, you, if you need more time later on, you can always go back and edit this. I'll click OK. And then Next. Here we can add exceptions. Again, later on, if you decide that maybe important emails uh, should go right away, then you can come back and check that. But for now, we'll leave no exceptions. And we'll click Next. And we'll give it a meaningful name. I'm going to call this Delay Outgoing Emails. And uh, there's no need to run it now because it's for outgoing only, but we will make sure it is turned on. And we'll click Finish. So this is an unnecessary message. It's saying it's only going to work when you're in Outlook, but of course, because we're writing a message. And that's it. It's turned on. I'll click OK. And let's give it a try. So I'm going to start a new email. And I will then send it. So the good news is I don't have to recall it because it's right down here in the outbox. You'll see a little one there. It's going to sit there for 60 seconds. So I go into the outbox and to stop it from sending, I just have to double click it to open it up. So now it is stopped. It's not going to go anywhere until I send it. And I'm going to go ahead and attach the file that I forgot. There's a style guide. Now, one thing to note, when I close it, the text here is not italics. Uh, so that means it's actually not going to be sent ever until you click that send button again. So when I click send, you can, you can confirm that the text is now italics. That's just a cue for you to know that it is going to send. So within about 60 seconds from the time I sent it, it should go out. Again, if, if this is not long enough, you can always add more time later on. Now, one thing that might help with this, now that you're paying attention to the outbox, you might want to add it up here to your favorites. So the way to do that is to right click on your outbox, go to show in favorites, and then now it's a little, bit, a little bit easier for you to access this. In the Outlook 365 part two class, you'll learn modifying message properties, organizing, searching, and managing messages, managing your mailbox, automating message management, working with calendar settings, managing contacts, sharing Outlook items, and managing Outlook data files. If you found that tip useful and want more, click the like button below and subscribe. If you're interested in taking the New Horizons Outlook Part 2 course, in which we cover Outlook rules, then click the link in the description.